Good morning, Good morning Eastern, Eastern Stars. Stars. Today is Thursday, December 14th, 2023. I'm Reagan. I'm Mr. Cooper. I'm Emma. And I'm Jasper. What's for lunch today, Jasper? First choice is assorted chicken pieces with potatoes and dinner roll. Second choice is sun butter and jelly with goldfish and yogurt. We have two birthdays today. Happy birthday to Elliot in Mrs. Schembarger's class and Kate in Mrs. Ross's class. We hope you have an amazing day, guys. There will be sunshine with some passing clouds. T oh, today there will be sunshine with some passing clouds. There will be a high of 46 degrees and a low of 36 degrees. That's pretty warm. The playground might be a little muddy. We have some special announcements. Um, this Friday is movie night at Eastern. Hopefully you are planning on coming to watch the Polar Express. Wear your pajamas, bring blankets and pillows, stuffed animals, whatever you like for watching movies. There will also be concessions and crafts in the cafeteria. Hopefully we see you there. The door decoration contest concludes tomorrow. Student council will judge the doors and the winners will be announced on Monday. Have you taken a look at all of them yet? Um, like all the doors? Yeah. I have. I have looked at all of them. Yeah. You have a favorite? Um, I mean, ours is pretty cool. No, of but course, you, you're a little bit. I kind of um, like the one that, I biased. like the staff bathroom that's downstairs. I like that one too. Have you seen these toilets? <laughs> They're ginormous. We forgot to say that two fourth and fifth grade basketball teams won a game Tuesday. One team beat Westwoods and the other team beat Montessori. Go ahead and keep going with that basketball announcement. Speaking of girls basketball, Aurea would like to give a shout out to both girls teams for going undefeated this year. Way to go, Eastern. Lots of shout outs. Miss Willoughby would like to give a shout out to Caleb for walking so quietly down the hall and being a great role model to others. Colin and Miss Culver's class would like to give a shout out to Dominic and Max Tim for coming to sit with him when he was by himself. Zeta. Zeta and Miss Fax class would like to give a shout out to Nicholas for putting away her books. Caden and Miss Fax class would like to give a shout out to Dominic for having reading stamina. Uh, where are we? Oh yeah, How, er, oh Zay. Zay and Mrs. Fax class would like to give a shout out to the whole class for being quiet during independent reading. Hadley would like to give a shout out to Addison for being a good friend every day. Autumn would like to give a shout out to Zeta for being strong and brave yesterday morning. Victoria would like to give a shout out to Ellie and Matilda for being a good friend. Matilda would like to give a shout out to Autumn for having reading stamina. Mac. Mac would like to give a shout out to Autumn for being a good friend. Emma's riddles. Okay, um, what disappears as soon as you say its name? Say that slower. What disappears as soon as you say its name? What disappears as soon as you say its name? Hmm, should we give him a day? Or do you no, think we you always do that. All right, we won't give him a day. We'll just let you think about it for a second. All right, tell us. What disappears as soon as you say its name? Silence. That makes sense. As soon as you say it, the silence is over. All right, so uh, let's take a look at some things um, for about a minute. First of all, <laughs> this is a bird's nest that was found on Eastern's property. This is from Avalyn Joseph Nolan Journey from Mrs. Bratz and Mrs. Heights class. They found this and wanted to bring it up to show all of you on the announcement. So thank you for that. I'm gonna hand this off to Reagan so she can do whatever she wants with it. And then, so this, is coming, this came in the mail. What does that say? Live crickets, but it's actually not crickets. We got a bunch of Super worms. Listen closely to that. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but they are a noisy bunch. So we're gonna we got them set up uh, a little a little food container for them so that they can eat and be healthy until they are eaten. Eat until you are eaten. All right, I'm gonna open this up. And we're gonna dump them in. Eating the 
Oops, Beatles. I hope I didn't just cut one in half. I may I have. Think you just might have. All right. So, Ooh, like Emma, yeah? you're up. What? What? <laughs> go Hi. ahead and go ahead and grab this. Yeah. And shake it out. So bad. In there. Don't shake. spill any. Just pick it up and over. This is this is why I did, did not sign up to be a zookeeper. But you're brave. Whoa. Uh oh, you're missing a little bit. Help out people. A little bit. Grab the worms. Grab the worms. That just grab them. Yeah. Ooh. Most of them got in there. Uh yeah, some got oh, they look like white. white. Look at that. There's a white one? Yeah, with like a pink oh, spot on it. Oh nice. Where? It's nice and soft. We'll feed that to a tree frog. Come on, there's more. Shake them out. Oh my gosh. Grab them on the table. You can't just let them escape. Come on. Get in there. This, oh, this one. This is heavy. Coming in. Coming in. Coming in. I found the white one. There's a lot of them in there. Holy moly. We need more hands grabbing worms, people. More hands grabbing worms. Here you go, Bella. All right, and then finally, look what's left inside the bag. That's Reagan, put your hand in that bag. What? No. Right there. Put your hand in there. Why? You can do it. I believe in you. Come on. It'll be a cool video. Come on, I'll Reagan. Do it. Put I'll your do hand it. in. Reagan, do it. He, All right, he go wants ahead. to. Yee. Nice. Feel those worms. Let them you can grab a handful and let them crawl all over. Oh, no. Mmm. The creatures down. are going to love it. Ooh, hopefully nobody's watching this before lunch. So All right. Well, some excitement in fifth grade today. Oh, Let's send them off, people. Have a worm filled Thursday, huh? Here we go. That's all for today. Remember! Have a really thankful and thorough Thursday. Thursday. Have a worm day, worm day. All right. Worm day.